So in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a quick look at functions in C++. Now, the definition of a function is that a function is a block of code that's designed to perform a specific action. So that's basically it right there. And there are a few reasons why you, we might use functions, but the main one is that they help avoid issues that are caused by code duplication. So for example, if we duplicated a set of code in different places and then we needed to change it, we'd have to go ahead and change every instance. And we might fail to change one instance and this can lead to some errors. The other thing is also that um, when we're not duplicating code, we're also saving memory, therefore making our program more efficient. So um, a function looks like this. So the first thing you have is the return type of the function. So we could have something like int or char or something like that. And this is basically the the what the the um, type of the output of the function. So in this case, our function is going to return an integer. So I'll just put int like this. Then we'll have the name of the function, and this variable name will be used uh, to um, reference the address where the function code is stored in the memory, I guess. So that's the variable multiply right here. Then we'll say equals like this, and then we give a set of brackets. And um, this set of brackets, we don't say equals actually, this set of brackets here is basically what defines multiply to be a function. And inside it, uh, we'll give the input to the function or the arguments or the parameters and what we'll do is we'll give the type of it and then the name that we want to give it so we can say int a int b like this and this function will take in two integers that we've called a and b and again a and b will now um, have the address of the memory of the numbers that we passed in here so we have a copy of those numbers that we pass in here in memory and a and b will be used to refer to them then uh, we have the function body and the function body is basically represented by these curly brackets like this and this is the function so this is the start of the function and this is the end of the function right here and finally if our function um, ha returns something so this function is supposed to return an integer we'd have a statement like this called return and then after that we'll put the return of our function and in this case we just want to multiply a and B together. Remember we can use A and B to refer to the integers that we take in. So we can just have something like um, return A multiplied by B like this. Now if we want to call the function what we can do is we can simply just say multiply like this and then give a set of brackets with the numbers that we want to multiply together. So if I wanted to multiply 3 and 4 I can do this and then 3 will become A and then 4 will become B and this, this right here will then return uh, 3 times 4 or a times b and we'll get 12 here and what we can do is we can assign this to another variable like this so we can assign create an integer called result and then this result will store so this function will get executed with 3 and 4 it will return 12 and then the 12 right here will be stored into the integer result into the memory so that's basically how you create a function and execute a function so now what I'm going to do is show you a little demo so I'll just explain, I'll just copy and paste this and explain what this is. So we have our multiply function right here from before where we have int multiply a and b and it returns a times b. Then we have three integers right here. So we have integer x, integer y and integer r which have been created in memory and they've been assigned to zero for now. And then what we do is we ask the user to enter a number and then we put uc in for this like we saw before and we assign this to x then we'll ask them to enter a number to multiply and we'll print x here again and then we'll take that in as well from the uh, the terminal input then we'll say then we'll call the multiply function giving x and y in this case the x and y will become the a and b and we'll get the value here which is x and y multiplied together and we can assign this to the integer r so this is zero will be replaced by the result and finally we can output the um, result of the calculation that should be a times right there so we can say x times y is equal to and then print the result and this enter number to quit is just to make sure the program doesn't exit straight away and it waits for another input before it exits so let's compile all of that so we can say um, g plus plus dash o dot slash demo and then demo dot cpp so that's been compiled now and if we then uh, run the demo program which we have right here we can see that we have the please enter number part right here so 
um, we are at this part right here. So if I enter a number like five, for example, five has now been stored into X, then it'll say, please enter a number to multiply and it reads five right here. So we multiply five by, if I enter three here, then three has been stored into Y. Then what happens is the multiply function gets called with three and five and the result, which is 15 has been stored into R. So the zero has been replaced with 15. And then we have it printed right here and um, five, times th three right here equals and then the new value of r which is 15 and then we just have to enter the number to quit so if i enter a number here it quits the program so that's yeah that's basically how you make a basic uh, multiplication program using a c plus plus function and that's an overview of how functions work in c plus plus